Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can connect your SharePoint online list with Excel directly without using any third party tool or even without using Power Automate as well. And what you need for that is your Excel should be part of your Office 365 profile, either with uh, this E3 developer license or the enterprise one. How you can check that is by going to your few account here and you will see the subscription. And once you have that you can download your Excel from apps and devices and once you have the Excel available locally I'll try to open Excel sheet blank workbook try to save this with the name of uh, SharePoint connection in my case save this one I'll go to data there is an option of get data power query. Once I click on this, I have an option of a SharePoint list. I will select this. And as you can see, it's asking for site URL. So I want to connect it with my this test site. Copy this URL. Paste it here. And in the implementation, I will select 2.0. There is an advanced setting option. I'll select. There is a view mode as you can see. There is one all and one is default. So in all cases, it will retrieve all the column that this SharePoint list has. But once you select the default view, it will only load those column which are part of your default view. So like in my case, this is my all item is my default view. So it will load all the column that are visible inside this particular view so as per your requirement you can select this option in the authentications kind i only have one option that is organizational account i will click on sign in it will give me an options of office 365 logged in you can select your profile and you can enter the custom one as well i have profile already selected i will click on this and it asks for a password I will enter my password here. Try to sign in. As you can see, I have uh, signed in successfully. Click on next. I have to select the issue tracker list. Here is my issue tracker list. And in the preview, you can see what kind of data you are fetching in. So this is the data type, but there is options of assigned one. It is not populating the data as you can see. So in that scenario, you can transform your data through power query as well, but I'm not going into that part. I'll just try to load this one. You will see all the data that part of my SharePoint list is now here and what i'm going to do next is i'll go to my this uh, list and try to create a new entry with a name of new entry itself i will say test value select the priority status anything just to showcase you how the syncing will work here click on save and uh, now I'll go to my Excel and uh, we'll see that the data is not here. Although I'll try to refresh this. Now you can see I have the new entry appearing here as well. But we know that there are some limitations and if it is not fulfilling your requirement, I have created a separate video for that as well using Power Automate that you can add and update your Excel data to SharePoint and vice versa as well. So I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe to our tech. Thank you so much for watching.